I'd like to call the um, Wednesday, June 29th select board meeting. It's three o'clock and um, call to order. Present today for the select board are Jane Nevin Smith, Randy Iser, Molly Keegan. Do I need to announce the other boards or should they do that? They should do it themselves, but I don't know if I see a, Amy, is there a quorum yet for you? Um, and I'm also, also waiting for Paul, both Pauls, I think. Which Pauls? Capital and finance. Paul Benjamin and Paul. Um, Kretzky. Yeah, thank you. I talked to Paul Benjamin yesterday. He said he can't make the meeting. Okay. Paul was, the other Paul asked me a little while ago for how to get the Zoom, which I sent him. So I'm hoping, I would love to have somebody, although we've got a couple other people from Capital as well. And I understand that there may not be enough for a vote, but I certainly wanted to have representatives from each all of those boards here. Well, I'll just open it for public comment while we're waiting. Does anyone have any public comment? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right. Since, since um, we have a quorum for the select board, do you want to do the employee appointments? That'd be great. All right. You want to introduce that? Me? Yes, you, please. Okay. This is the employees that are appointed by the select board, and it is uh, these are annual um, appointments. So you should have that list on your documents. Yep. Uh, just so everybody knows, I talked to Jennifer earlier under uh, the Board of Registrars. The first person is listed as Linda Blyda, and I believe it should be Laura Blyda. That's Jennifer. actually corrected. Okay, I just didn't know if everybody got it, Jennifer. That's why I wanted to let them know. All right, so is there any discussion? May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. What's the motion? Motion to accept the uh, appointments as presented. So if we can just have someone second that because that was the actual motion, that would be great. And then you can vote or have a discussion. Yep, yep. so I second Randy's motion to appoint, make the appointments as presented. Is there any discussion? Okay, Jennifer, roll call vote, please. Roll call vote, Nevin Smith? Yes. Iser? Yes. Keegan? Yes. Thank you. Carolyn, do you want to go on to the accounting contract? Sure. Um, if, uh, if you remember from last week, uh, we, uh, I let you know that only the uh, Melanson was the uh, accounting firm that is um, going to continue. Uh, we did not have anybody else respond to the job, the job posting that we did. So um, it was our rec my recommendation to continue with Melanson and you we had waited for a vote. If there were any questions, there was only one question by Molly and um, I didn't get any other questions. If I missed any of them, you feel free. Lori is here if you wanna ask Lori any questions. What was Molly's question? Uh, it was basically the, the one I asked the other night, Randy, which, which was just how did they arrive at the 90,000 and did, you know, did that commit them to a certain number of hours? You know, did it commit them to being on site a certain amount of time, that kind of thing. And the response was? Lori's here. Okay, Lori, the response. Hi, is... hi. Yeah, Hello. so um, so I, I think I responded the other night. The um, We have a couple of years history, so that's how we came up with the um, total contract cost. There are no set hours, so whatever we need to get the job done. Um, but the contract does require one monthly visit. Okay. Are there any other questions or discussion? May I have a motion to accept the 
contract. Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept the contract with Melanson Heath for the upcoming, and this is a, a one-year contract, is that right? Yeah, for, yes. for the upcoming fiscal year. Second. Jennifer, roll call vote, please. Roll call for Nevin Smith. Yes. Iser. Yes. And Keegan. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. And just so you guys know, if something comes up, we should talk to Carolyn. You know, if you guys get an in-house accountant and want to terminate the contract with Melanson, you know, that certainly will work with you to do whatever's best for the town. So no worries that you're stuck with us for a year if you don't want to be. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully you that. will be, but yeah. I don't know if I'm stuck with you. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to working. <laughs> That's probably a harsh yeah. word. <laughs> All right, should we go ahead and talk about the South Maple project? Sure. All right. Absolutely. Okay. And we yeah. might end up with a quorum because Andy Kopaki um, is trying, I think, to get on the meeting. All right. So, so let's, let's wait. So let's wait, and then you can call your meeting to order, Amy. Okay. He can only jump on for a few minutes, so he's trying to get on right now. We'll talk fast. Okay. <laughs> Are there any screenshots we should be sharing? Well, as soon as Scott, I just want to give a brief introduction to, for those who were not aware of, of the discussions from last week. So I'll okay. give it, and then as soon as Scott uh, will also give an overview, but it will be quick. Right. So as soon as Scott starts talking, we'll come up. You wanted me to start, Carolyn? No, I was, we were waiting for, um, for Andrew to get on for finance, but let's, um, he's not, he's not on yet, right? I told him to go through the town website. Okay. That's how I got on, quick. Yeah. So I, I can give the introduction, maybe by the time he'll get on, Scott, Scott's going into detail will help. So let me just, um, I'll go. Oh, there he is. I see. All him. right. There you, you want to call your meeting to, to order, Amy? Okay, so it's the finance committee meeting. I'll call to order, and uh, the attendees are myself, Amy Fiden, David Phil, and Andy Kapaki. Great. Okay, so this is an extension from the Mass DOT Route 9 widening project that was including the replacement of water mains on uh, areas of Route 9. And this, we have an opportunity to extend it to a real critical, critically in need area of town going from South Maple to um, Mill Valley Road. And it's an opportunity to um, replace those aging water lines. And so this is uh, what we discussed last week was we have opportunities to fund this, but we need authorization from the select board and the finance. We would like the finance committee's input um, as well if, if anybody from capital is able to join in um, to be aware of it. Um, Scott's gonna go into detail, but I will tell you as we go into this, it is uh, about just under $500,000, uh, but we will be saving about 100,000. We did get that quote from Baltazar today that it's about a savings of about $100,000. So I'm gonna let Scott explain it. After Scott explains it, then Linda's gonna tell you how it's gonna, our recommendations how, on how it can be funded. Scott, you want uh, your good, pictures? Uh, good afternoon, uh, just, uh, summary of this we're looking to extend the water main out of our original scope of work which ended basically at the bike path on south maple street we're looking to go to the intersection of mill valley road uh, and uh, vault is our contractors the current contractor uh, for the route nine project uh, i've been talking with them about uh helping us out with this project and uh, doing some more work. And as Carolyn said, uh, the, it's about a $500,000 project with an estimated savings of around $100,000, uh, roughly 20% uh, because they're already here working basically. So uh, there's a lot of things that are, the cost is already into what they're doing currently. Uh, one of those, uh, some of the things uh, like their staging area, they already have that established and going, so they don't have to do that. Uh, the engineering aspect of the job, uh, 
he worked with us directly to engineer it, which we saved uh, on in, any engineering fees and any kind of mobilization. Again, once again, they are already here working. All their equipment is here. So that's another savings to the town. Any questions? Somebody's got a hand up, Jane. I can't see him. Wait. Andy Klepacki was. Andy. Andy? He's gone. Is he waving goodbye? Perhaps. <laughs> Do you, does anyone see, anyone need to see a picture, David and Amy? Do you want to see a picture of the area we're talking about? No, I'm familiar with it. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I, I am. Oops, I was on mute. I'm familiar with it, but uh, why are we calling? Why is there a rush? Why are we calling the meeting this quick meeting? I don't, uh, I'm just unsure of, uh, I know this project is taking a long time. It's not a project that's going to be done in, in months. It's going to, it's a year's project, you know, Route 9. So I'm just unsure of why there's a big rush to um, have this done right now. We they need Okay, go ahead, Carolyn. They need authorization to proceed. And the biggest issue is purchasing supplies. They could, they could be anywhere from three to six to a, even longer, correct, Scott? Months out. So it's yes. urgency is authorization. They, they, they need authorization now um, so they can make this all a part of that project. Uh, and also the, the time it's going to take to uh, purchase these materials. And there's a second part of the urgency, Amy, for it being this week, because tomorrow's the last day of June. And part of what we're trying to use for funding it, we have a few pieces we're putting together. Part of it involves using the balance of the FY22, um, uh, a balance in the FY22 water fund budget. And uh, we would need to have authorization to spend that money before the close of the year so that we can then encumber the funds and have it available going forward. What are you seeing in funds for that? Are you going to have enough funds in that budget to cover everything? We ready to move on to, to that? Yeah. To the Why don't you go okay. ahead, Linda. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. We are suggesting, um, so this is a $448,000 project. Um, another, um, oh, another factor is that the, uh, that, that number was only good for about another week. So uh, that was, we're trying to get in before that expires. So for $448,000, um, there was a lot of time uh, put in on uh, our, looking at the balance of our ARPA-1 funds. We, looked at, start, we started from thinking we only had about 150000 a lot of uh, going through and checking our commitments and, and seeing how much of those funds we really needed, uh, reviewing the projects that were underway, and it looks like we can get, and also finding other sources for, uh, of, of, uh, to fund some of the projects that were in there, we were able to determine that we have about 310,000 that we can use out of ARPA for the project. So um, that uh, 310,000 left us with 140. Yeah, uh, so we have two sources of funding of this. Um, if, if you recall, we won't even need this if we get the million dollar uh, million dollars out of the um, another round of the forward funds, which is another round of ARPA that the state is holding. We were hoping it would go through quickly. That hasn't come through yet. So this is our this is our backup plan. We were really thinking we we're going to be able to go through with the project because we had a um, million dollars earmarked for us, but um, and so that we don't lose this project altogether. This is our backup plan, but it is looking like it's more and more going to end up being plan A for a while. So the funding is coming, 310,000 from the ARPA one. We're going to hold out uh, $605,000, $65,000 from FY22 water operational funds. And then as we get into uh, fiscal 23, uh, there is a line item in the water fund, which is specifically for water uh, capital projects that come up during the year. So we're going to uh, use the bulk of those funds right off the bat and, and see. Um, so that's 73,000 we get from there. So those three items, 310, 65, and 73 add up to the $448,000 that we need to fund this project 
absent and absent any other um, funding that comes in before we need to pay these invoices. Uh, Linda, clarifying question. Sure. So that that last line item, the water projects, the seventy three thousand. Mm -hmm. You said that those monies aren't available until after July first. Is that right? It's our it's our fiscal twenty three budget. It's in our fiscal right. twenty three. So it is. we're really only funding the three seventy five out of FY twenty two. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And that's yeah. no issue. We can span the two. Um, right. Fiscal and and the, the three ten isn't committed to one or the other. That's that's a, that's um, that's a that can there. be over either. We're funding sixty five out of twenty two and seventy three out of twenty three budget. Um, there the line item. Um, uh, what's it called? In, yeah, infra water infrastructure. These things come up during the year. Uh, this current year, it was funded at a hundred thousand. Um, they weren't sure that. Well, in looking. Uh, as in FY22, it had 100,000, and that's where we're getting the $65,000 balance from. Uh, going forward, we, um, when we were budgeting for 23, we moved that down to 75,000 instead of 100. I wish we'd kept it up now, but uh, at the time when we were doing the budget, there were, it wasn't a lot of call for using that line item. And now, um, uh, certainly by, in the second half of the year, uh, there was, there has been. So, um, so we're gonna use most of that $75,000 on this. If it looks like there's other projects coming up, I guess we'll just have to deal with that at the fall town meeting, whether by raising this, whether by raising this, uh, the, the budget or um, for the water um, fund to put more back in there or by uh, determining there's projects that we wanna do borrowing um, something else. So, but this will get us from here to there. So what we're doing is voting to earmark this money, correct? We're not, it's not going to be spent tomorrow. Is, is that right? Correct. It has to be committed by June 30th. Okay. And, and you are our committers. Understood. <laughs> be, yeah. you, you, if you, you commit us, then we're going to have to uncover those funds. Right. I get that. So and yeah. potentially we won't be paying this money out for two years down the road. No, before that, yeah. before that. They'll, they they gonna, have to order the supplies. This is the big. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pay for the supplies potentially in three of the six months. But what about the labor aspect of it? Do we have to pay the whole thing or wait till the job is done? Scott, you want to answer that? This, yeah, I, this is going to be done before the next year. Correct, Scott? Yeah. That's certainly well, the impression I've been getting. Yeah, see, he's thinking that like a late fall, maybe throughout the winter project, because it, it, the job's primarily off the road over there where you could work throughout the winter months. So it should be done, you know, early next year, I get early uh, uh, 2023 or into 2023. So, and I don't, he, I believe he builds when the uh, job is done. So you, you'd be, there, there'd be a, lot of time before you'd be seeing any bills and there's also the 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 wait for the state to pass their budget which we all got that email about that they just put it off and put it off so that will happen right so my my the big concern i have is hoping that we will get some of this money we're supposed to get from the state and and not have to really spend the money we're talking about so yeah so let me just clarify that that million dollars that we're talking about, that million dollars was based on a grant that was submitted uh, a year ago that was denied. And then we got a notice from the Division of Local Services, kind of, in my opinion, a fairly optimistic, in, in some ways premature, uh, notice that we would be getting a million dollars and they chose that project that had gotten denied, which was the Mass Dot, Mass, uh, dot Route 9 widening project and replacing the water main, main lines. So it still had to go through the House, it still had to go through the Senate, it had to get, get through the governor. It is stalled right now. And they don't look, it, that's not even gonna be addressed uh, probably until, we won't see a real answer until the fall. So this is just too good of an opportunity uh, for us not to have done the best we could, which is what we did. This finance team has worked probably 20 hours on this to make sure that we are doing this in a legitimate way and it's not a precarious way. 
Uh, if you're wondering why there might be some extra money from FY22 and possibly 23 in that water capitalization uh, line item, ARPA-1 helped pay for quite a few projects. Plus we had some other additional money from the state that helped pay for some of those projects that probably would have come out of that line item last year, this year. So I just wanted to answer that question mm -hmm. before it came up. The other thing is the reason to do it now is we're saving about 20% if then we would be 20% less, we're saving 20% rather than having to go out later and start from scratch. And I think the other thing just to you know reiterate for the record too is that you know this isn't just an opportunity to say okay well we have some old infrastructure so let's go ahead and replace it but this is a particularly problematic area of town. So, you know, I think it's really important for everybody to underscore, you know, anybody that they're talking to that this is, you know, something that the DPW has been keen on, on working towards for, for years, years and years. Um, and this is going to resolve, or at least put us on a, a much better path for that section of town where we all know that the, um, the water service is just, you know, terrible, so. So this is um, a really great thing for not just ideal movers that's moving in out there, but also the folks down, down South Maple. It's also a fire safety issue, significant mm -hmm. as well. Any other questions or discussions? All right, select board may have a motion. How would the motion read? Do you have it written, Carolyn? You have it yeah, on your administrative file. It's the motion's written. Oh. Okay, I'll make the motion if that's okay. So motion to approve extending the South Maple Street water main replacement project to Mill Valley Road with the $448,000 project to be funded from 310,000 of uncommitted balance from the ARPA-1, 65,000 from FY22 Water Enterprise Operational Budget, and the balance of 73,000 from FY23 Water Enterprise Operational Budget. Second. I have a sec second by Randy. Jennifer, roll call vote, please. Roll call vote, Nevin Smith? Yes. Iser? Yes. And Keegan? Yes. Thank you. Is there any other business? Just need to thank the finance members, everybody that worked on this to get this to where we got it. Thank right. you. Right. Indeed. Yep. All right. If there's no other conversations, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Oh, have sorry, a second. Sorry. second by Molly. Roll call vote, Jennifer. Roll call vote, Nevin Smith. Yes. Iser. Yes. And Keegan. Yes. Thank and you all. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.